Hey guys, Pat here. We're going to be doing a day in a life as a pen tester slash cybersecurity engineer, whatever you want to call us. We're going to go through a day with myself. First things first, brush the teeth and fix this hair. Let's go. Now it's time to do the hair. This is all I do. I work from home. Put some gel, put some water. Ta -da. Let's go downstairs and start the day. All right, guys. So this is a little tour of my office. Here it is. This is what all goes down behind the scenes. So let's turn on the monitors and get the day started. Turning on the monitors is the first thing. So I always go from left to right for some reason. I don't know. Or from right to left. Turn on that bad boy. Turn on this guy. And then the last one, let's turn on this guy over here. All right. So here we go. The day is about to start. So the monitors are on. We're ready to cook. So I just want to give a little breakdown of what I do and then we'll get into the fun stuff and showcasing a few tools that I've used over the years on my day-to-day -day journey as a pen tester, as a security engineer. So the first thing I do, obviously, I come downstairs, I check my emails, right? See if there's anything urgent, any urgent alerts. If we have any urgent alerts, then we can go ahead and address them. That's pretty much the first thing that I do, right? And then we want to let the security team keep them informed if there's any vulnerabilities, do any kind of, uh, you know, overview of any critical exploits that we are going over in our current environment or if we're doing a pen test for an organization, okay? So the next thing what I normally do is plan and research. What does this mean? As a pen test, we want to review different kind of exploits out in the wild, right? So we review the scope of a pen test first, and then we can go and go into the wild or whatever to see if he's actually still legit. We can set it up in a lab prior to even exploiting an actual client because we don't want to bring down a client, right? So this can be tested on applications, network systems, APIs, wireless, whatever, you name it, it's probably exploitable, right? So I'm just reading down my little list. And then we want to do some information gathering, right? We want to gather the information about the target and then we, such as IP addresses, domain names, publicly accessible information. When we do our OSINT, also known as open source intelligence, which is pretty much a big key for doing penetration testing, right? So what kind of uh, tools do we use, right? What do you use as a penetration tester? Normally my go-to is Kali Linux. That's my operating system. And then we can use Metasploit, we can use Nmap, Burp Suite, you know, the list goes on and on and on, depending on what kind of assessment that we want to do, right? So what does my midday look like when, you know, in the middle of the day, what do we do? So when we're actually conducting a penetration test, what does that mean? We're doing an external, we're doing an internal, we're doing a web application engagement, right? All this is information that you need to know, whatever you need to know as a penetration tester and what you're pen testing, right? Like I said, the tools that we use, you know, I just gave you some. We can use a vulnerability scanner as well, like Nessus, Qualys, Rapid7, you know, the list goes on there as well. And what are we checking for? Obviously, it all depends on what you want to test. What is the scope of the engagement? What we're testing, that's what you know, what you want to actually target, right? So then about lunchtime, I take a break. You know, I get out, get out of my computer, go eat something. And this is the beauty of working from home, right? I literally just get up off the seat, open that door back there and just go eat something in a few hours. And then after lunch, normally I'll continue the whatever, the exploitation, post exploitation, whatever I'm doing for that specific penetration test, right? Depending on the findings of what we found during that pen test, you know, we'll spend more time exploiting complex systems, networks, you know, such, you know, whatever we want to do, right? And then also we want to do is discover any sensitive data, sensitive information from the client. We don't want to, you know, sh showcase that. We obviously want to obfuscate that, but that's for a whole nother topic, right? And then the last thing that we normally do is document everything, right? We write a report, my favorite, not, you know, you do your pen test report, you document your findings and all that stuff, okay? And then 
that's not the last thing, that's the second to last thing. Now we have our document or our pen test ready to go. Now we can go debrief this with the client, showcase what we found, what we were able to exploit, and all that fun jazzy jazz, okay? So my evenings, me personally, I like to go to the gym after work, decompress, have my me time, and when I come home, I normally watch NHL or hockey, right? So normally if I'm doing self-development, that's what this is gonna be more about. What I'll do is do some write-ups on some whatever CTFs, review my daily work, whatever I did that day. I'll, <clears throat> I, just, I just have a uh, list here. You know, professional development, like I said, spend some time learning new techniques, new tools, uh, which trending in cybersecurity or offensive security, and you know attending webinars you know practicing different techniques like i said and then before logging off i want to make sure all the data that we collected throughout the day is securely stored right if it's passwords if it's data just securely store that information so no one can access it right that's our that's our job right security engineers and make sure the internal team has this encrypted copy and make sure it's protected. That's pretty much it as a pen tester, right? We'll get into the whole jazzy jazz of on my computer, doing some hack and sacking, but this is just an overview of what we do on a daily basis. What I wanna talk about is some education, right? Educating, or oh, my education journey. I went to college, I did my master's degree, and I have quite a few of certifications under my belt. So is college necessary to get into penetration testing or you know, cybersecurity? Absolutely not. But it was a journey that I took, okay? My first job in cybersecurity was a penetration tester. I went from being a system administrator, a network administrator, cloud engineer, and then I transitioned to offensive security. I didn't do a SOC analyst. I was never a SOC analyst and did all that stuff, but I did security engineering and penetration testing and moved my way up the ladder, okay? So what was an inspiration along this way of getting into cybersecurity? Protecting data, protecting people and helping, right? Educating others so they don't get hacked, right? Because when you're actually hacking or doing penetration testing, you're actually educating the client or an end user or whatever, right? So that's pretty much, you know, we went through my job duties, right? What do I do on a daily basis? Um, when I'm looking to do more, that's why I make YouTube videos, I teach courses, and I like to give back to the community to inform them as, you know, the next generation of cybersecurity engineers, right? I don't go to an office. This is my office, my home office. So that's, that's the beauty of working from home. And that's pretty much it for me, you know? Yeah, that's pretty much my journey. So now what we'll do is jump on my computer and I'll showcase some tools. Shall we get on the, get on the computer now? Finally, after all this jazzy jazz talking. All right, let's go. Hey y'all. All right, so now we're on the desktop. Another day, another dollar. So what we're gonna be doing is doing a like little scan of my small network. And this is pretty much the same thing I do in a client network. When you're doing an internal uh, attack vector or if you're doing an external, but in this case, I want to showcase my, uh, I want to showcase my network. All right, so here we have a, a domain controller. Here it's at 192.168.100.250. And then we have a Windows 10 machine, it's at 220. Okay, so I have a little network, right? So here is my attack box. When you're on an internal assessment, you may not know about those machines, but in this case, we do. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I did a scan really quick. So I did this demo scan right here of my domain controller, right? This is, this is after you do all your enumeration, you'll have all this information, but obviously to speed the process up, this is what we did. So let's go ahead and cat out this demo. And I wanna go over what this is, right? This is an Nmap scan. We have ports open, so in my assessment, I'll take this for evidence or for my report, and we can see DNS is running, port 80 for cobrosing, 135, uh, 139, 389 for LDAP, so we know active directories on this box, 445, we know there's some shares, 
and so on and so forth. So we can take this scan and now what can we do, right? So what I wanna do now, if I'm on your network, we can run a tool called Responder. This is the first thing I normally do. So I'll run Responder on my, on my, uh, on my interface. So let's come back up here. So dash eyes for the interface that I'm scanning on and my interface is ETH zero. That's where my interface sits on that 192.168.100 network. Now, what is this doing? This is listening for any incoming connections to my machine. So what am I trying to do? I'm trying to capture your hash file. If I capture your hash file, I can take that hash offline and crack it. And that's what we'll do. We'll demonstrate that. So this is pretty much what you do on an internal assessment. So I'm going to be over here willy nilly. I'm Pat the user, not Pat the hacker, Pat the user. Okay. So where is my Cali box sitting at? I don't even know. So let's get that IP address. So let's do IPA and my, my IP address is 213. So I want to copy this. Hopefully I can paste it over here. So what I want to do, I want to just go to, I want to go to uh, my file explorer, just like a normal user. Maybe you go to like this computer and maybe we're just going to do, hopefully that works. Okay. So what I'm going to do is do whack whack. So this is pretty much like scanning a network share, right? So I want to go ahead and hit enter and I'm just going to put my credentials like F castle, right? Okay. And then my password is password one, right? Wait, I think I put it wrong. Let me see password one. Let me make sure that's correct. Yep. And I want to go ahead and just hit okay. All right. It didn't do anything, right? So for a user, they're probably like, oh, my, my credentials didn't work or whatnot. But as a hacker, let's come over here. We can see that there's, all right, don't worry about this because I already compromised this box. So let's go ahead and hit cancel here. So what we have here, let me just do an LS and we have this hashes, right? So let me cat hashes. And this is the hash that we need to crack, right? So now we compromise that hash, right? So what can we do now with that hash, right? We can go ahead and run something called John the Ripper and we can go ahead and crack that. So let me go ahead and do that. Now I'm just reading my notes, make sure we could do actually we're going to do hash cat. So let's do hash cat. And my mode is going to be 5600 because that's what we uh, 5600 is the uh, NTLM hash mode. So we can hit show because I already cracked it. And if you see here, right here is password one, right? So now what can we do with that? Now what we can do is authenticate. We can try to get onto that machine and all that stuff. So that's pretty much it. You know, now we can, we have credentials. Now we can just go to town, do whatever we want to try to do. We can try to remote into it. We can try to authenticate to it. And you know what, just to showcase that, let's go ahead and authenticate to it. Shall we? Let's go ahead and just use PS exec. And I think that is, is that my, so this is F uh, Marvel is my domain. F castle is my user. The password is this at the, 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 the IP address, but let me make sure that's the IP address for this machine. Is it 220? Let me make sure. Yes, it is 220. Okay. So now let me just hit enter and here we go. Now we are on this box. We can do an IP config. Uh, host name, host name, and here you go. We're Punisher. So we're on that machine. So we can do a DIR. We can see where we are. Obviously, we're, we have a lot of files and so on and so forth. Holy moly. Let me try to kill that. Okay. You guys get the gist. So we're on that machine. So what can we do when we're on the machine? We can upload malware. We can upload um, different kind of tools, right? And that's pretty much it. So this is pretty much a day to day in a life or day to day activities for a pen tester. So hopefully it's been informative for you guys and take care. Jacob S here. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you really enjoyed it. And I'd also like to remind you, if you're truly serious about your career in information technology, then be sure to check out our IT engineer training programs at www.02engineer.com.